Last year, an analysis conducted by NPR found that Republicans across the country proposed more than 300 anti-trans bills. And with each passing day, it seems as if these laws are getting more and more draconian, more extreme. And I think we're beyond the point to where it's time we sound the alarms and acknowledge what's happening here and what this party is trying to do to this community of Americans. But first, Let's get to the latest law proposed from the state of Oklahoma. As ABC News reports, a new bill would make it a felony for anyone under the age of 26 to access gender-confirming care in the state of Oklahoma. Senate Bill 129, sponsored by Republican State Senator David Bullard, is the most recent anti-transgender care bill to be introduced in an ongoing push against gender-confirming care by Republican legislators across the country. Under this bill, physicians and health care providers cannot provide gender transition procedures to a patient under the age of 26 or refer them to any healthcare professional for gender transition procedures. A referral would be classified as unprofessional conduct and may result in immediate revocation of the license or certificate of the physician or other healthcare professional. So let's take a moment to pause and really take in what we just read here. They are trying to ban adults in Oklahoma from transitioning. Adults. Now, gender... That's a form of expression. Expression is protected under the First Amendment. So you have Republicans brazenly violating the First Amendment, along with the 14th Amendment, to target this group of adults and say, you're not allowed to live your life and express yourself in a way that we disagree with. Now, think about what that means for all of the trans adults under the age of 26 in Oklahoma. This would literally force them to detransition. So what this bill is trying to do is make it so that way doctors in Oklahoma would be so afraid that they wouldn't treat trans adults with gender affirming care. We're talking about an entire community being legally erased in a state in the United States in the year 2023. This is horrifying. And seeing this news sent chills down the back of my neck because this is where we're reaching genocidal territory where they're not just saying genocidal things and using genocidal rhetoric. They're trying to enact a genocide against this community by legally getting them to disappear. Now, this isn't the first anti-trans law proposed by the state of Oklahoma. In fact, they already have a plethora of anti-trans laws that have been passed that are deeply discriminatory. ABC News continues, Oklahoma currently has laws in place that ban trans athletes in state schools from participating in sports that correspond with their gender identity, a ban on trans people using the bathroom that aligns with their gender identity, and bans on non-binary gender markers on state birth certificates. So this state has already made it clear that they don't just not care about their trans residents, but they actively are trying to do them harm. And they're not alone, unfortunately, because other states like Florida, Alabama, Arkansas, Idaho, they all make it more difficult to legally change your gender. But now we're seeing what was once just a couple of obstacles being taken to the extreme. And now they want to forcibly detransition trans people and ban adults from being who they really are. It's it's sickening, and, and I want to be very clear here that this is not the start of some new trend. As Aaron Reed pointed out on Twitter back on December 7th, New Hampshire has filed a law which will detransition all trans youth and young adults if it passes. This is the third bill this week that targets trans adults along with trans youth. They will continue to raise the age until states ban transition entirely. She adds, we are going to see a state shoot for 25-year-old trans bans this year, eventually trans bans for everyone. We have been saying a slow-moving genocide targeted at eliminating transgender people through eliminating gender-affirming care is happening. It continues. And look at how quickly she was proven right. Now Oklahoma is trying to ban gender-affirming care and transitions for anyone under the age of 26. This is absolutely horrifying. And if you care about trans people, now is the time to speak up. It's already bad enough for trans children to where if you are the parent of a trans child in states like Texas, you now have to flee the state in order to avoid losing your child to Child Protective Services since they're investigating parents or they were investigating parents of trans kids before a court had put blocks on that. But 
it's getting horrifying. That's that's kind of the takeaway. Like, I just want you to understand it's getting horrifying to where trans people have to flee states, if not the country, in the near future because of where this is going. So if you actually care, it's not even about, like, if you care about trans people specifically. If you're a decent human being and you think that we actually should be free in the United States of America, have the freedom to live our lives as we see fit, now is the time to speak up just to see the ways in which this party is making this entire community public enemy number one. If you don't speak up now, you are complicit. Now is the time to be as loud as you possibly can because this cannot stand. This is getting frightening and we keep seeing these bills increasingly draconian be proposed, but how soon until one of these bills get passed? I don't think that this can stand because it's brazenly unconstitutional. But when you have so many Republican judges appointed by Donald Trump, I mean, who knows? This could pass. It could get upheld, perhaps struck down by a federal court. But if it makes its way to the Supreme Court, that's where I think that we are don't have much of a shot so we have to stop it from getting to that point and if you see a bill like this pop up in your state you have to take action call your legislators call your state representatives because this cannot stand this is horrifying and i want people to understand what's at stake here and how this is the republican party taking transphobia to its logical conclusion which is effectively a genocide against them